I was sent this uh, NACS to CCS1 charging adapter and asked you my opinion on it and make this short video. So here goes. So this has got the um, ability to connect your uh, Ford or Honda or GM vehicle, whatever EV you have, uh, to the Tesla network. And what you're going to get in the box is it's got a nice carrying case uh, that holds the adapter. It's got some instruction manual here and then the adapter itself. So very nice case. So when you're not using this, if you're you know in between road trips, you just throw this in the back of your vehicle. It's always there when you need it. And it's protected in this really nice hardback case. So this allows you to connect those uh, combined charging system, uh, CCS1 um, vehicles to that Tesla supercharger network. So Tesla superchargers have a plug looks like this. And then everything else at CCS1 has this. So you got your large DC inputs here and then your other ones here from your AC. So with this here, you're gonna have a 500 amp, says it right on the side, uh, 500 amp capability for you to charge directly from that D DC supercharger into your vehicle. And here's how it's gonna work. You're gonna just um, connect it in like you would normally. You're gonna remove your DC plug here at the bottom. And then first thing you're gonna do is connect your Tesla supercharger cable in here. They've got a little lock here. So if you rotate this 180 degrees, then you can release this catch, plug the supercharger cable in, lock the catch, turn this 180 degrees out, and now it won't come off. So now I'm firmly on the supercharger cable, and then I'm just gonna plug it into my vehicle like this, lock it in place, it's got a lock here at the top, and I'm solidly in, into the vehicle here. So I've got the Tesla cable into the adapter, adapter into my vehicle, and I'm ready to charge. Uh, very easy to do. So if you've got any of these vehicles that have recently um, been uh, updated so that they can charge on the Tesla supercharger network, then this adapter will make you have that ability to do it. And this is something that you want to have in case you're on those road trips where superchargers are in a lot of places and they charge really fast. So if you need to um, do a quick uh, top off for your vehicle, you'll have that and you'll be ready to go. So, hey, I hope this was helpful to learn a little bit more about this NACS to CCS1 adapter. I hope this information was useful to you. And as always, I hope you have a great day.